Hey kids, welcome back to another five minute Bible story. Today we are moving on from the fruits of the spirit. We finished up with that last week. This week we are starting to talk about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. What are they and how do they help us serve better in church? So for today's Bible story, we're going to go all the way back to the book of Exodus. This is the second book of the Bible. And we actually talked about this about a year ago. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a recap of what happened. So the Israelites were in Egypt and God called Moses to go to Egypt and uh, bring, the, bring his people, the Israelites, out of Egypt and move them into a land called the Promised Land. There was a lot of action that happened. There were 10 plagues. Pharaoh finally said, go ahead, get out of here. They, uh, God performed a miracle of splitting the Red Sea and the Israelites finally made it through into the wilderness but they began to sin against God and not follow God or listen to Moses so God punished them and said you're going to stay in the wilderness for 40 years so that is where we are going to pick up our story today so there was a really big task that God needed done while his people were stuck in the wilderness he needed someone to build a temple for them to worship and to pray and to sacrifice to to be forgiven for their sins while they were out in the wilderness. And God could have asked people like Moses or Joshua or Caleb, those are some of the heroes of the Old Testament, but you know what? The reason why we're talking about the gifts of the Holy Spirit today is because everybody has a special gift, a special talent, or something that they can do better than someone else that makes them better suited for certain jobs rather than other people. Moses was a great guy, he was a great leader, but he was in charge of leading over a million people in the wilderness. He didn't have time to go and build this temple that God wanted to be built. He might have been pretty, pretty capable. He might have been good with his hands, but we don't know that specifically because those weren't the talents that the Bible told us about. They said that he was a good leader, that he was filled with wisdom from God, and he listened and ta taught people what God wanted. But in this particular case, God wanted the best of the best to make this temple, not just someone who was capable or okay. He wanted someone that was the best. So he actually says in Exodus 31, uh, verses 1 through 3, uh, he, it says, The Lord said to, to Moses, I have chosen Bezalel, uh, the son of Uri. Um, and he says that I filled him with wisdom. I filled him with knowledge and, and skills that are, uh, make him capable of building this temple. So who is Bezalel? We don't really know other than that he was the guy that God chose to build this temple. He was probably, one, really good with his hands. He was probably a good builder. It said that the, the person building the temple had to be good with working with gold and silver and making intricate designs. So he was probably a guy that was really good at all of those things, building buildings and good with working with metal. So that is why God chose him, because he was the best person out of all the people that were there in Israel, stuck in the wilderness to build this temple because he had a unique gift that God needed to use. So you might be asking, Mr. Jeremy, why is it that some somebody couldn't just do all of the jobs in the church? Like we have Pastor Greg, for example, he's the pastor of our church. Why couldn't he teach the kids? Why can't he teach the youth and lead worship on Sunday mornings? Well, let me tell you, in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10, it says, Let each of you use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. So basically what it's saying is everybody's been given a, di a different gift and we need to use those gifts to serve others. This isn't just like a, well, maybe you should do this. This is an instruction in the, in the Bible, in the book of 1 Peter. It says that you should use your gifts to serve others. You shouldn't just have the gifts and enjoy them for yourself, but you should serve others with these gifts. So this verse in 1 Peter is exactly why we have different people doing different jobs in the church. We don't have Pastor Greg leading the youth, leading the kids, and doing worship all at the same time while he's preaching because that would just be so much for one person to do when we have other people who are very, very good at what they do because it's what God gave them talents for. So I want you to think about it. What is your talent and how can you use that talent to help the church? How can you serve others with your talent like it says in 1 Peter? Or verse four, or chapter 4 verse 10 it says to serve others not just to have this talent for yourself and to to use it and enjoy it for yourself or your friends it says to serve others what can you do to help river life serve others so that brings us to the end of this video today and to our fourth and final challenge for our uh, end of the month giveaway which is 
for this, our baby Yoda. So uh, this week's challenge has to do with what I just said a little bit ago. You, I'm going to challenge you to figure out what is your talent? What is something that you are really good at that you might be better than most people you know at this particular thing? Whether it's singing, whether it's building, whether it's teaching, whether it's good at math or sports. What is something that you're good at that not everybody is good at and how can you use it to serve others? So that's the challenge. Find out what your talent is and think of one way that you can use that talent to serve others. So don't forget you have to do all four of the challenges that I've uh, posted over the last four weeks. I'll post an update at some point this week and tell you, remind you of all the challenges from the past four weeks, what they are and when you have to have them all finished by, because I'm going to do the drawing at some point this week and I will announce the winner next Sunday on the 5th of July and let you know who won our baby Yoda. But that's it for today. That's the end of our five minute Bible story. I will see you next time, kids. Bye.